Welcome to TSC Master Class of Lower Secondary Level English. In this video, I am going to discuss Section A Unit 3. ICT in English Language Teaching, ELT. 3.1. Concept, Importance and Implication. 3.2. Modes and Source of Materials. 3.3. Searching, Designing and Organizing Materials. 3.4. Basic Skills of ICT for English Language Teacher 3.5 Opportunity and Challenge in Managing ICT in ELT Classroom 3.1 Concept of ICT The concept of ICT in teaching refers to the use of digital tools and resources to enhance the teaching and learning process. This integration transforms traditional education methods, making learning more interactive, engaging, and accessible. Incorporating information and communication technology ICT, in teaching is essential for modern education, preparing students for a technology-driven world and enhancing the overall learning experience. Key ICT tools in teaching Learning management systems, LMS platforms like Moodle, Blackboard, and Google Classroom help in organizing course materials, assignments, and communication. Interactive whiteboards, digital boards that allow teachers to display and interact with multimedia content during lessons. Educational software and apps, various subject-specific software and educational apps that provide interactive learning experiences. Multimedia projectors, devices that project video and computer content onto large screens, making it easier to present information to large classes. Online collaboration tools, platforms like Microsoft Teams, Slack, and Zoom facilitate communication and collaboration among students and teachers. Ebooks and digital libraries, digital versions of textbooks and extensive online resources provide easy access to study materials. Virtual and augmented reality, VR and AR tools create immersive learning experiences, helping students understand complex concepts through visualization. Importance of ICT in teaching. ICT enhances engagement and interactivity. It provides access to authentic materials. ICT tools adapt to individual students' proficiency levels, providing customized exercises and feedback. It improves communication skills. It gives ample opportunities for collaboration and interaction. It fosters creativity and innovation. It is very effective for efficient assessment and feedback. Access to a variety of learning resources, such as English Central and ESL Pod. It also enhances listening and speaking skills. ICT is flexibility and accessibility. It facilitates differentiation and prepares students for the future. Implications of ICT in teaching. Flipped classrooms, students watch lecture videos and complete readings at home, while class time is used for interactive discussions and problem-solving activities. Blended learning combines traditional face-to-face -face instruction with online learning activities, providing a more flexible learning environment. Gamification incorporates game elements into learning activities to make education more engaging and fun. Distance learning enables remote education through online courses, allowing students to learn without being physically present in a classroom. Assessment and feedback, online quizzes, automated grading systems, and digital feedback tools provide instant assessments and feedback to students. Collaborative projects, students use ICT tools to work together on projects, even when they are not in the same physical location. 3.2 Modes and Source of Materials Incorporating ICT in English language teaching ELT, requires an understanding of the various modes of delivery and the sources of materials available. 1. E-learning mode. Online courses and platforms, Udemy or Khan Academy. Virtual classrooms, Zoom, Microsoft Teams, and Google Meet. 2. Mobile learning, M-learning mode. Educational apps. Podcasts and audiobooks. 3. Blended Learning Mode Combination of online and in-person, integrating online resources with face-to-face -face classroom teaching. Flipped Classroom, students watch lectures at home through videos and engage in interactive activities in class. 4. Interactive Learning Mode Interactive Whiteboards, use of digital whiteboards for interactive lessons. Educational Software 5. Distance Learning 
video conferencing, platforms like Skype and Zoom for live classes. Open educational resources, OER free educational materials available online, such as those from OER Commons. 6. Gamification. Game-based learning, websites like Kahoot, Quizlet, and ESL Games Plus that incorporate games into learning. Simulations and virtual worlds, platforms like Second Life for immersive language practice. Sources of ICT in ELT. 1. Online educational resources. Websites, ESL websites such as BBC Learning English, ESL Cafe, and Purdue OWL. E-learning platforms, sites like Khan Academy, Coursera, and edX offer structured courses. 2. Digital libraries. Project Gutenberg, free e-books for reading practice. Google Books, extensive library of books for various levels. 3. Educational apps. Duolingo, language learning app with gamified lessons. Babbel, app offering structured language courses. 4. Multimedia resources. YouTube, channels like TED-Ed and ENGVID for educational videos. Podcasts, series like ESL Pod and The English We Speak for listening practice. 5. Social media and forums. Facebook groups, communities for English learners to practice and share resources. Reddit, subreddits like our English learning for discussion and advice. 6. Open Educational Resources, OER. OER Commons, repository of free and openly licensed educational materials. MIT OpenCourseWare, free course materials from MIT. By leveraging these resources and technologies, teachers can enhance their teaching practices and provide students with a richer, more interactive learning experience. 3.3. Searching Materials. The process of searching, designing, and organizing materials is crucial to integrating ICT effectively into the teaching and learning environment. 1. Identify learning objectives. Define the specific goals and outcomes you want to achieve. Determine the skills or knowledge students need to acquire. 2. Use reliable sources. Access digital libraries, educational websites, and databases such as JSTOR, Google Scholar, and educational resource platforms. Utilize Open Educational Resources, OER, for freely available teaching materials. 3. Search techniques. Use specific keywords related to your topic. Utilize advanced search options to filter results by date, source type, or relevance. 4. Evaluate sources. Assess the credibility, accuracy, and relevance of the materials. Check the author's qualifications and the publication date to ensure the information is current. Designing materials. 1. Select appropriate tools. Use tools like Microsoft PowerPoint, Google Slides, and Prazi for presentations. Leverage multimedia creation tools like Adobe Spark, Canva, and Storybird for interactive and visually appealing content. 2. Create engaging content. Incorporate multimedia elements such as videos, images, audio clips, and interactive simulations. Design activities that are interactive and encourage student participation. 3. Focus on clarity and structure. Organize content logically with clear headings, subheadings, and bullet points. Use simple language and concise explanations to ensure comprehension. 4. Customize for your audience. Adapt materials to suit the learning levels and interests of your students. Include culturally relevant examples and context to make learning more relatable. Organizing materials. 1. Use digital platforms. Learning management systems, LMS, like Moodle, Blackboard, or Google Classroom organize and distribute materials. Cloud storage solutions like Google Drive or Dropbox for easy access and sharing. 2. Create a logical structure. Organize materials into modules or units based on topics or themes. Ensure a clear progression from introductory to advanced concepts. 3. Label and categorize. Use descriptive titles and tags for easy retrieval. Categorize materials by type, e.g., readings, videos, assignments, and by subject matter. 4. Maintain accessibility. 
ensure materials are accessible to all students, including those with disabilities. Use tools like subtitles for videos, screen readers, and alternative text for images. Purposes of selecting materials. Supporting learning objectives. Engaging and motivating students. Providing authentic language exposure. Facilitating differentiated instruction. Promoting active learning. Enhancing technological skills. Providing assessment opportunities. 3.4 Basic Skills of ICT for English Language Teacher An English language teacher equipped with ICT skills can enhance their teaching methods, engage students more effectively, and improve learning outcomes. Basic Skills of ICT for Teachers Basic Computer Skills Internet Navigation Interactive Tools and Platforms Online Collaboration Tools Digital Content Creation Assessment Tools Social Media Literacy Multimedia Integration Presentation Software Skills in Creating Engaging Presentations Using Microsoft PowerPoint, Google Slides, or Prazi Video and Audio Tools Ability to Use Video Editing Software, e.g., iMovie, Windows Movie Maker, and Audio Tools, e.g., Audacity, to create and edit multimedia content. Basic Troubleshooting Technical Issues Basic skills in troubleshooting common technical problems, such as connectivity issues, software installation, and hardware malfunctions. Security and privacy Understanding the importance of internet safety, data privacy, and maintaining secure online environments for students. Digital Pedagogy Blended learning, designing and implementing blended learning strategies that combine traditional face-to-face -face instruction with online activities. Flipped classroom, developing flipped classroom models where students review instructional content at home and engage in interactive activities in class. 3.5, opportunity in managing ICT. To enhance student engagement. Personalized learning. Access to authentic materials. Collaborative learning. Efficient assessment and feedback. Development of digital literacy. Flexible learning environments. Innovative teaching methods. Teacher professional development. Data-driven instruction. Challenges of ICT in ELT classroom. Digital divide, ensuring all students have access to the necessary technology and internet connectivity. Teacher training, providing adequate training for teachers to effectively integrate ICT into their teaching practices. Student engagement, keeping students engaged and motivated in a digital learning environment. Cybersecurity, protecting student data and ensuring secure use of online tools. Content quality, ensuring the digital content used is accurate, relevant, and pedagogically sound. The end.